Joining us for Primetime Local News is Daryl Benson, the club's president. Now, Daryl, what is the Rotary Club of Lloyd Minster's plan for Lobster Fest this year? Well, since uh, restrictions have not been lifted to the point where we can have large gatherings, uh, we're looking to postpone our, our Lobster Fest this year, similar to what happened last year at the start of the pandemic. And we're hoping that uh, when things do open up to a point where we can have a larger gathering, whether that be this fall or definitely by next spring, which typically Lobster Fest is usually the first week of May. So we're definitely going to pencil that in for 2022, first weekend of May, Saturday. Uh, but in the meantime, if something does happen sooner than that, we may have a, a modified or smaller version. But uh, at this point, we just felt that uh, obviously since we can't do it, uh, other, other groups have been doing some smaller drive throughs uh, meals, that type of thing. And uh, we just felt at this point uh, we wanted to support local restaurants because uh, they are now open for and have been for a while for, for seating and whatnot. And we feel that uh, we don't want to compete with that or any of the other service clubs. We want to be something that people can look forward to once things restrictions do lift to the point where it's uh, we're available to do that. And how many years has this event been held now here in the community? Well, it's a, it's a bit of a controversial one amongst some of the uh, elder statesmen in our club, but it's been at least 30 years that I, that I know I've been attending, and I think it's somewhere getting closer now to 40. So it's been a bit of an annual rite of passage in the spring. It tends to coincide just by coincidence with the uh, city's cleanup uh, week in May and along with uh, the household hazardous roundup. So everybody does all their work all week, and then they come and have a good time Saturday night at Lobster Fest. So uh, we're hoping that we can do that again. If we can't this year, we're hoping that we can definitely do it the first week of May next year. And if anything were to change and it did happen this year, even with a, a smaller feast, I guess, for Lobster, Lobster Fest, what would the club do differently with Lobster Fest to avoid COVID-19? Would it be kind of like Rib Fest with the drive through Well, at, at this point, we're really not talking about doing the drive through That is an option for sure. Uh, one of the other uh, former club members that is now president in Leduc, they did one last summer. But of course, at that time, Restaurants in Alberta were totally closed, just takeout, and they had a very successful drive through I think people's point of view has changed on that to some degree, and I think they're looking for something that's more in-person, and they're missing the social aspect of a gathering, and they're really looking forward to uh, clubs like ours and some of the other service clubs having something again, whether that be this fall or next spring. And in previous years, how was support from the community with Lobster Fest? It was excellent. It was actually growing the last few years. I think we were at a record number of over 800 uh, in 2019. So uh, it's a full building that may change. We may have to go to a bigger building depending on how the rules and guidelines change. We're not sure if the old normal will be the new normal as they like to use that term, but uh, maybe we have to go to a bigger building, a little more spacing. Uh, just, you know, I think there'll be some protocols such as uh, hand sanitizer that we're going to see for a long time to come. So. We'll definitely be following whatever the rules are at that time, shall we? And what can others do in the meantime while you're do in the middle of the planning process to help support this? Well, we did have our uh, Canadian Dream Vacation uh, Lottery this, this winter, and we had great uh, support from the community. It was a solid again this year. So that was one of our big fundraisers. And we thank the entire community for buying tickets. And we had our draw March 1st. And all the award winners were announced. So that was uh, something that we did differently. Typically we do that particular uh, fundraiser as a monthly draw, but this year we did it all in one, one fell swoop and one big bang on March 1st. And it was very successful. Um, other things that, that we're doing or other clubs are doing is we're just supporting the other nonprofits and other service clubs in town, such as Border City Connects. They have a fundraiser, the uh, Poor Polar Plunge, which uh, is going on right now and I know that uh, there's a couple of our club members that are part of that as well and I believe donations for that is uh, closing April 1st at midnight and uh, community certainly could support someone like Border City Connects uh, with uh, with doing that and other things that we're doing with some of the donation money that we did receive this year was uh, we donated uh, $5,000 to the Lightminster Rescue Squad and we'll be doing a presentation for that last week next week uh, we donated uh, some money to assist with the Pioneer House and to get iPads and uh, some different ways of communicating for the, the seniors in, in there. And that was something that was very successful over the Christmas season. So we're still doing what we can. And uh, during, during the course of this, because there's, there's always needs in the community, pandemic or not, uh, they're always there. And we're trying to help out as best we can as all the other service clubs are in town. Is there anything else you'd like to add for people to know about concerning Lobster Fest? No, just to watch for, uh, for an advertising, whether that's in Facebook, on social media, or in the paper, or, or thank you today for uh, taking interest in our club and, and in our event. But uh, 
we will let the community know as soon as uh, we feel it's safe and uh, we hear that it's okay to do that. The Lloyd X has been a great partner and we want to make sure that we have a couple dates secured in case uh, things do open up sooner, but uh, look for us no later than March or our first week of May next year uh, at, at the very latest. So, no, I just want to thank the community for their support and uh, hopefully we can have uh, have a lobster fest, whether that be this fall or definitely next spring, Shelby. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining me today, Daryl. Thank you very much. Have a great week.